C-E-O. Welcome back everyone, I'm Jabali on the CEO Gaming Channel, and in this video today I'll be checking out the Sony M3 Endzone monitor and also the H3 wired headset, which are both the official monitor and headset of the world's largest fighting game tournament, the Evo Championship Series, taking place later this summer. Uh, I'll actually be heading to Combo Breaker this weekend in Chicago, which will also be using these monitors along with most likely CEO at the end of June. So I kind of want to get familiar with this, see what it's like to set up and use, and kind of let you guys know what I think, um, as this will obviously, when EVO has a, you know, EVO sponsorship, uh, you know, with a new monitor, uh, the community kind of checks it out. So first off, I'd like to thank Sony for sponsoring this video uh, and sending me the monitor and headset for free. Uh, so I appreciate that from them, And but everything will be my own thoughts. They'll see this video for the first time when I release it this weekend. And then I will obviously start with the bad boy right here, the M3 Endzone monitor. Now, monitors over the years have really changed. You know, back in the day, we used CRTs for everything, and it was just, you know, what size CRT do you have? No conversations of lag or anything like that. And now we've got to consider, you know, over the last 10 years, we had HDMI come into play. Is there one millisecond? Is there two milliseconds? 1080p. Uh, and now it's gotten even more confusing and more advanced, but the visuals have never looked better in gaming. So now you got to think about, you know, 120 to 240 hertz, 144 hertz, VRR, variable refresh rate. So there's a lot of different stats and everything going into monitors. So what, what I also like about this monitor is it's not just a gaming monitor to me. It actually has USB-C and other ways to be productive with it. So I thought that was really cool. Now, for this monitor specifically, it does have a higher price range. It retailed at $529. I was actually able to see one on Amazon recently for about $400. But right now, everywhere, like Best Buy is like $470. So I think for that price, if you are someone who games a lot at home, uh, you know, directly at your gaming desk uh, or your PC, I think this is actually one of the better options out there. Um, and with that, this is a 27-inch Full HD 1080p. It's got up to 240 hertz uh, through DisplayPort 1.4, mostly for PC, but also comes with two HDMI 2.1 ports, which will let you connect your PS5, Xbox Series X uh, directly into it and get that max uh, capabilities of the 120 hertz. Uh, and it also has one G to G, uh, you know, one millisecond G to G, which is basically like ghosting, gray to gray scale. Um, and then also comes a lot of software improvements and things that you can change through the PC or, you know, on the back with the menu directly. And then my personal favorite is the tons of input output. Uh, you know, you've got H two HDMI 2.1 ports, one display port 1.4, a USB-C so you can hook up like a MacBook Pro or anything with a USB-C display. Uh, so I connected my MacBook Pro to edit this video actually. Uh, a USB-B upstream, which is that, you know, that printer little port. But then once you plug your computer into that, then you get three USB-A uh, 3.1 ports to connect, you know, PCs, uh, mouse, keyboard or anything directly into the monitor. So you'll have one, you know, one wire coming out of your PC and then everything plugging into your monitor so it's easier to access. So you don't have to, you know, get on your PC. But this pretty much uh, covers everything. That's why it has a, you know, standard, you know, the old Asus monitors like 150 to 200 bucks. But that was like one HDMI port, a VGA, and that was in a headphone jack. So this comes with pretty much everything you need to make the most out of gaming. Uh, now they do have a higher model, the M9, which has 4K resolution at 144 hertz. Uh, but you don't really see the benefits of 4K until you're going into like the, the 50 inch plus uh, TV range. So I think this is great. I would definitely recommend this one over that one uh, from what I've seen out there. Uh, but for the most part, this is probably a, a, a solid monitor that has everything. Now, hardware itself, this was actually very easy to set up. Uh, you know, pulled out of the box, uh, has a couple screws in the bag that you have to attach the back mount to, and then it slides right in. Also easy to take apart as well. So for everyone setting this up at events, you know, a couple steps, and then you're good to go. And then it'll tilt up and down, and then go up and down there. But if you do use the cable management, that is something you got to be wary about to give it a little bit of slack. But... I actually do like the cable management on this. Uh, very minimal stand design, but I was actually able to fit four different wires through the uh, cable management. Uh, it was a little bit snug of a fit, but covered everything you need so you can hide everything. You're probably gonna connect like eight wires to this, so just find a way to kind of hide that. Um, now for using the monitor itself, I played a bunch of the Street Fighter 6 demo, which you know will also show you the 120 hertz when you're playing, which is another cool feature of this monitor. You can actually set a uh, frame rate counter that way you turn it on, you'll see if you're getting 60 hertz, 120, and even some games with VRR, you'll see it go like fluctuate between 60 to 61. Um, but every button press was instant, whether I was using a fight stick or a PlayStation 5 controller. 
pretty much I felt absolutely no lag. I'm no expert. I don't use any special devices, but I've been playing fighting games for 30 years and I have a pretty good feeling on uh, how it feels. Also looks extremely smooth. I did have to use a 2.1 HDMI, which that's one thing that I, I, I can kind of take off for this monitor. It only comes with one DisplayPort uh, cable. Everything else you'll have to bring yourself. It does have a uh, separate power brick uh, also to consider uh, to plug into as well, but also, the monitor itself has tons of settings, actually. It's got, you know, cinema mode, standard game, FPS, first-person shooter mode. So it's very well thought out. They didn't, I don't think they cut any corners. And it's cool that, again, once you go to the settings menu, you're going to see everything that your current setup is achieving from your hertz to, you know, frame rate, uh, which port you're using and all that. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then, obviously, the design aesthetic is there to match the PS5. I have a custom black cover, not the original white one, uh, to represent CEO. But uh, it's really cool that they kind of blends everything together. Um, now, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to plug in a PC. I have a 3070 gaming rig downstairs from Origin. Didn't get a chance to plug it in yet. Uh, but as soon as I get back from Combo Breaker and Dreamhack Dallas, I'm definitely going to put it through the ringer with my gaming PC. I usually use a 49-inch ultra-wide, uh, but it's kind of hard to game on that and work at the same time. So I'm going to have this as my new dedicated streaming monitor uh, to connect through, use a capture card that will actually pass through 120 Hz, and then I'll be good to go for next gen. Now, I also do like that it has a USB-C uh, display port. So I basically connected my MacBook Pro. It's got, you know, 99% sRGB uh, accuracy. So it looks pretty damn good for editing videos. Uh, now, with all, all of that said, uh, you know, my only complaint is the speakers. But that's with any gaming monitor. I usually don't get very loud speakers. So kind of give you a listen right here. And so it sounds kind of teeny. There's no bass. That's exactly where their H3 wired headset comes uh, comes in hand. Um, now they do have three different headsets. Uh, this is the H3. This is their lower end uh, priced model. This retails for $99.99, but you can actually find it for about $60 right now. And at that price, if you already have this monitor and you want to kind of match the aesthetic and you don't care about wireless, it's a really good comfortable headset. Very lightweight. Uh, you know, put it on my head for you. Right now I can barely hear myself talk, but. You know, if you turn sideways and everything, you kind of see it, but it stays on. And then it's got a, you know, a mic that you can turn. Oh, that was backwards. My bad. A mic that you can, you know, mute it right there or do that. Here, let's keep this game going. Uh, you know, so basically mutes it and then bring it back down. So super comfortable. It only has one button on here because it is wired, which is the volume button right there. So kind of a little hard to, to move so you won't accidentally press it. But uh, that's pretty much all very... No frills, straight to the point. Uh, I can hear the gameplay sound loud and clear, and I can't hear myself talk. So it's not noise canceling, but it kind of cuts out all the sound. Um, but, you know, honestly, you'll be seeing these headsets at events. And without noise canceling, I don't think it'll be that big of a problem. Just turn up the sound, and you, you'll pretty much be able to drown out a lot around you. So, uh, you know, I think these are both great products from Sony. Sony's always known for uh, putting in a lot of effort into their products. It matches their whole line of everything PS5. But... Again, they didn't just uh, stop there. I think it's great for PC gamers as well. Uh, I'll definitely check more into it when I get back. Now, do I think this will be widely adopted at a lot of FGC events? Time will tell. You know, I think uh, seeing this at uh, Sony's uh, partnered events this summer uh, will be great for the community to check out. I think it's going to be great for competitive play, uh, you know, and to use. And I think that people are going to like the newer size. We're used to 24, 25 inches and such. So, but I think... This is a great monitor, honestly. I like it. I'm going to use it full time. I appreciate Sony for sending this out to me to check it out. Uh, but I wanted to kind of share my thoughts with you guys. And if you have any comments or you want to know more about the monitor itself, uh, please leave it in the comments below. Like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll probably see you soon at one of these upcoming tournaments. E -O, come on. The drink took some time, but now we're going to